Matters. In years gone by, the Alliance Party has been a force to be reckoned with and was part of a coalition with Labour from 1999 to 2002. The party has risen like a phoenix from the ashes to fight yet another election. Alliance co-leader Kay Murray is standing for the party in Dunedin South and she joins me now. Good evening, Kay. Good evening. What is the main focus of the Alliance Party? Well, the Alliance is all about fairness and equity. It's really about making sure that everyone has access to what they need for a really a reasonable life. What do you see as a major issue for those people living in the Dunedin South electorate? Well, there's probably going to be many issues over the coming years because we're obviously in for some tough times, but I would say really it's going to be getting a livable income, whether that's for superannuitants having a reasonable um, rate of superannuation or a livable wage or a livable benefit. Now, if you're elected, how best do you think you will serve the people of Dunedin South? Well, I've been in Dunedin South for about 18 years, living and working there, so it's an area I know really well, and I'll be listening to the people and, and keeping in touch with what's happening and what, what's needed there, and, and I'm, I think I'll be a really good advocate for Dunedin South. What kind of feedback have you been receiving? It's been really good, actually. We've had a, a wonderful last few weeks. Um, people seem to really like our policies. We're getting a good response. What are some of your policies? Well, really, we're about free health care, um, and that's really free health care. That includes doctor's visits as well as um, hospitals. We're about free education, of course. We're about wiping student debt, um, free fees, and a livable um, well, student um, benefit, really, the, equ well, the equivalent of the unemployment benefit as an accommodation and living allowance for students. Um, we're about really a, um, a livable wage, and we would increase the minimum wage to $17 an hour. That's one of our um, key policies. Gosh, that'd be more than some people get paid in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What, um, you, you know, you've talked about free health care. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, expect to fund that? Um, we fund that through a dedicated health levy, and we would um, allocate a certain percentage of the tax take to be ring fenced for health. We also have our progressive taxation system, which means that if you're earning a lot of money at any stage of your life, you will be paying more taxes than you are at present. On the other hand, if you're not earning very much, you'll be paying a lot less tax. What's the next big part of the campaign for you? Well, really it's sort of winding down um, at this stage. It's just counting down to the election day. I've got one more meeting tomorrow night, and after that we're really concentrating on getting our leaflets delivered um, and then just waiting and seeing what happens, really, hoping that people will vote for us. Getting a bit nervous? No, not really. I mean, we've put our policies out there and we've given people a choice, and, and that's what we aim to do, and really it's up to the voter, and that's what democracy is about. Okay, finally, why should somebody vote for you? Because I'm the co-leader of the Alliance Party, and the Alliance Party is different. If people want to change, then the Alliance will deliver change, and we think a change for the better for all New Zealanders, really. Alliance co-leader Kay Murray, thank you very much for your time. After the break on Nine Local.